Let's head now to Australia into one of rugby league's biggest names, Phil Gould. Well, Phil, thank you so much for joining us on Warriors TV. It's great to have you here. Like to start off with knowing about your new job with the Warriors, how it's going, and what they have you doing. Well, it's been extremely enjoyable. Uh, such a pleasant group to be working with over here with the Warriors. Um, from the time I met their owner, uh, Mark Robinson, and the CEO, Cameron George, it's been a very welcoming atmosphere here. I'm very impressed with the, the commitment of the club, not only meeting the challenges they have here in Australia, and you get a, a good impression of what they went through last year, but uh, just the quality of people in the organisation, how hard they work, how committed they are to the effort. Uh, it's been a, a great experience so far. And I'm sure that means a lot to all of them hearing that from you. Uh, every year, the Warriors, they've been described as sleeping giants. How will that perception change to just change them to giants? Well, that comes with consistent performance, doesn't it? Um, it's just a matter of fact with professional sport that winning is important and you are judged on by your results by the end of the day. That's how they judge your club. Um, and I think the Warriors are aware of that. I think they've, they're very much aware of their history. But they're still only young as, a, uh, as an NRL franchise and there's plenty of time ahead. Uh, there's a real uh, focus here at the moment, once COVID has finished, on re-establishing their development pathways and making sure that they're building from within and producing talent out of, out of New Zealand to represent the Warriors. And I think that's a very important part of any club and their long-term success. And the Warriors are certainly committed to that. At the moment, we're dealing in a COVID world. They're living over here in Australia. Uh, much better set up this year than last year and the atmosphere here is really good. You spoke about the talent that they have here in New Zealand and the NRL CEO Andrew Abdo, he this week spoke about possibly another uh, New Zealand team joining the NRL. Your thoughts on that? I would love to see that one day. I really would. And I think that the country is certainly capable of hosting another one. It would be great to have rugby league, high, high level rugby league in New Zealand every weekend. And that's a ways off down the track. There's a lot of development work that's got to go in and I think working hand in hand with the New Zealand Rugby League and big organisations like the Auckland Rugby League are extremely important. Um, and I think that's where the Warriors have to, to make sure that they're servicing Rugby League and being a big part of the development process in that country. If that leads to having enough money and enough players uh, to, to provide a second franchise, I think that can only be good for the country and it can only be good for Rugby League worldwide. I think I agree with you and we'd love to see it. But if we look now on the field, the Warriors, they've been hit hard with some injuries and suspension. So from the inside, how are they looking and how is Sean O'Sullivan looking as a replacement for Chanel Harris-Tavita? Yeah, well, they've had some setbacks early in the season, but you're not going to get through a year without injury and some sort of uh, you know, hurdles to overcome. And it just provides opportunity for other players. And as you say, Sean O'Sullivan gets that opportunity this week. I know Sean well because he came through the Panthers system with us many years ago. He played in an under-18s national premiership winning team and uh, played for the Australian schoolboys. And uh, he was sitting in there behind fellas like Nathan Cleary and Jerome Luai and Matt Burton and these fellas. And he took an opportunity to go to the Roosters, who are a very strong club. And he played uh, NRL. He made his NRL debut there, went to the Broncos. Uh, and he's found his way here at the Warriors. And, uh, and very, very disappointing to see our halfback go down injured last week for a few months. But uh, that's why Sean's here. Sean's here to, to step up and, and take the role there. And I think his combination with Cody Nicarima is going to be very important over the next few months. I'm a Penrith junior, so I'm looking forward to seeing him in uh, Warriors colours. But if we look ahead, uh, the proposal to play all the Warriors games in New Zealand next year, uh, all things going ahead. I know Cameron George has been pushing for all the home and away fixtures to be here in New Zealand. Uh, how's that looking? Yeah, well, I've lent my way to that argument, certainly, because I think the game owes it to them. When you consider we haven't had the Warriors playing at home since uh, 2019, late in the 2019 season, by the end of this year, if they don't get home this year, it'll be more than two and a half years since top-level rugby league, NRL rugby league, has played in, in Auckland. So, And without the Warriors coming over here and making the sacrifices they have, we might not have a game last year. It was their commitment to coming over here and keeping the competition going and meeting the broadcast arrangements that allow money to come into the game to keep it sustainable. Now, I think all, every NRL club, and I think the NRL owes it to the Warriors and owes it to New Zealand people, um, you know, that next year that they every team over here takes their home game against the Warriors to a part of New Zealand. It certainly won't be Mount Smart Stadium, but all over New Zealand there's great venues and, uh, and people there would love to see top-level rugby league. And 
And, you know, I think I think it's getting a groundswell of support. I think clubs are starting to see that they probably owe them that. And it'll be a nice gesture and it'll be great for the development of rugby league throughout their country. Well, we'd love to see it. Uh, we thank you for your time, Phil, and we wish you all the very best for the team for this weekend. And thank you for joining us on Warriors TV. Absolute pleasure.